Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say. These are the stories we cherish. Oh, hi! Didn't see you there! Uh, my name's Clarence, and, uh, I, I just wanted to take a second and read you a story about a Christmas miracle. So, one day, there was a hobo, and his name was Johnny. Johnny Hobos! And, uh, he was walking down the street, and, uh, he found a bag. And he picked up the bag, and inside of the bag were presents. And then all the presents turned to garbage because he was drunk and hallucinating. And so, uh, Johnny Hobos, uh, he went down and he was, he had a, he had a hobo wife and he loved her very much. And, uh, he bought her a, uh, a, a gold encrusted, uh, hairbrush and she shaved off all of the pubic hair and they exchanged gifts. He got a pile of pubic hair. She got a golden brush. And she was like, how did you afford this golden brush? And he was like, I don't know. I didn't have to sell anything. Um, like, you're the one that was cutting off <laughs> your pubic hair. But, uh, yeah, I just found this. It was like the one present. And he told the magical story about the, the garbage bag full of uh, junk. And then she, <laughs> she was like, but if that was all a hallucination and you had just finished your detox uh, shakes and all that, why, uh, wh why is the golden hairbrush real? And he was like, I don't know. I found it embedded in my leg uh, after I got hit by this rich lady's car. And so I was like, here you are, my hobo wife or hobife as he called her. And Merry Christmas. So... Yeah, um, and then she was visited <laughs> by the ghosts of three previous Obby's meals. She was like, uh, one of these was a roast beef, and that haunted me for a couple of days. Uh, one of these was like one of those Jamocha, I don't know, shakes or whatever. Uh, and, uh, that one was, ooh, that one was real haunting. And then there was the, the, <laughs> the ghost of Chetathoth, which, uh, visited her in the bathroom at 3 a.m. that that night. So, you know, I'm just saying, folks, that uh, these are great and timeless. <laughs> these are timeless stories. That's what I'm telling you. These are all timeless stories. Hold on, let me see if there's another one. Uh, no. Uh, hang on, let me, uh, 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 oh, yeah, this one's all right. Okay, so, uh, this one is about a, uh, this one's about some guy, he was, like, born in a place, and then they took him and, I don't know, like, he got him dirty in a manger, and that's not really, like, he's born, no, he's born in a manger, and then the animals were there, and that's not hygienic! Don't get born in manger, folks! <laughs> the hygiene is just, that's not really, they're gonna get, like, cow poop everywhere. At any rate, uh, and then he was nailed to a giant chunk of wood, and that's the story of Christmas! So, uh... Yeah, happy Christmas, holidays, all everybody, and the Kwanzas and the Hanukkahs and the yeah, just happy everything to everybody. And I and here's one genuine hope for the new year, for all you folks. I genuinely hope that you spend time with people you care about. They don't have to be your blood relative. In fact, for many of us, it's better if they weren't. But what do you what you gonna do with you spend time with somebody that you care about, even if you're stuck working today. Take them time, like, pet your dog, buy them an extra piece of meat or something, give it to the dog, and then sing a carol outside of someone's house until they throw rocks at you. Yeah, I'll call the cops. Oh, yeah. And one more thing, folks. Take care of each other. A new year is coming, and we have no idea what it's going to contain other than darkness and pain. I mean, why should it be different from any other year? Well, Merry Holidays and Times. Merry End Times, everybody. I hope you have a, a decent one, or at the very least, you have enough booze to forget. Ha! A uh, ho, 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 and all that bullshit. All right. Toodles! Now, where the hell was I? He lowered her slowly onto the bed. Ripping off a... Uh, yeah, leave me alone now, folks. Thanks. Yeah. Do the feet. 
Mm-hmm.